Welcome back to the American Dream Business Roundtable. And we're uh, discussing business partners and the different kinds of uh, coaches and mentors that someone, an entrepreneur might have. And uh, we've been talking about spouses and accountability partners. Uh, and we mentioned that spouses can be a good thing, bad thing. It depends upon who they are uh, and what relationship, what role they're going to have in, in your business. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'd like to uh, talk more about the professionals who might take on some of these roles. Mm -hmm. uh, business consultants, business coaches, mentors. Have you, you ever used a, any of those? A coach? Actually, actually, a few years ago, um, I used a business coach, uh, probably 10 years ago. And uh, it, was, it was good for what I was, the time period that I was okay. focusing in on my businesses. And changing my business format, um, I became, in a sense, behind the scenes more, taking care of different clients. Right. And then creating a new look and format for my radio show. So that's when I use the business okay. coach. So for our viewers, uh, maybe we should explain a little bit more about the difference between a coach and a consultant and a mentor. Um, coaches typically enable a person to do things. They may not have any business expertise whatsoever, right. but if you have a hang-up, uh, for example, if uh, the product or service that you're offering, most people would charge $100 an hour for, right. but you don't feel like that's appropriate. You feel like maybe because of a self-esteem issue or whatever, mm -hmm. you might not feel that you should be offering that kind of a a product or service at that price, mm -hmm. you might think, well, I need to lowball it so I can get more business. And your coach would be the one to say, no, don't devalue your service or right. or cheapen your service. Cheapen your service, and and they will encourage you to get to the level that you need to be. That's right. Which is different than a business consultant who has uh, business expertise that he shares with you. Or and she does. Or she, thank you. You're welcome. And uh, the consultant can do things for you, but the coach really doesn't do things for you. He enables you to do things for yourself. Right. Where And then we bring in the mentor Right. And I would like to put in a plug right now for SCORE, which is uh, a nonprofit uh, sister organization to the SBA, and they provide a lot of mentoring right. uh, for free. Mentors have a long-term relationship, and they might see and help uh, with an entrepreneur over five to ten years. And so they'll go through various stages, and of course the uh, the person that they're helping is sometimes called a protege or a right. mentee. Right. Uh, these are important because if you go out and you really want the business consultant and yet you sign up for, uh, you hire somebody who's a coach, you're not going to be satisfied. They're going to do things differently and you think, uh, he's a coach, he's a business coach, he should know about how to do these things, but he really doesn't. He's more well, of a psychologist. And then the other thing is, is <clears throat> that's part of my business. I'm a consultant. Right. Uh, and also a mentor, both in radio and television, after many years of being mentoring by television personalities and others. And I was very fortunate to have a radio mentor. So that made it easier. So you're actually giving back yes. uh, in so many different ways. Um, you know, and I work with a lot of interns in radio and television as well. Right. So that's giving back as well when you're learning. So I like to take people, especially in radio and television, and teach them how to do it and let them go on their own. That's the whole idea of, you know, sometimes a consultancy and a mentoring position is that you want them to get to a point where they can do it on their own. Yes, and what she's winking at is the, the we've had this discussion where if you've been following us for any number of weeks now, you know that Catherine has been mentoring me, and so I'm her protege, if you will, <laughs> and I'm learning, uh, so bear with me if I um, have any faux pas, but uh, that's 
that's the role that she's playing in our relationship, and it it stay it doesn't stay the same. It it kind of changes from uh, from time to time. And you've changed a lot since we first met. Yes. Uh, and taken my advice, even yes. though sometimes it wasn't easy. That's right? correct. Right. And it's changed your image. Yes, and and I would encourage everyone to uh, play along uh, and see what happens if you have a a mentor or a consultant or a coach play along and see what they can and help you with and it, it may not be permanent you know it doesn't have to be permanent right. but uh, take from them what they're willing to offer and see where it goes it's very difficult to uh, hire a consultant which you want their advice and then not take it you know, I deal with that uh, all day long where, you know, I told you this is what you needed to do and you didn't do it. So now you you act all surprised when the uh, the thing that I was trying to keep you away from has happened, like a, a tax audit, for example. Uh, but uh, we'll, let's talk more about some of these other relationships, that okay. lesser known, okay. counselors, right. facilitators. Facilitators are very important, and counselors are very important because sometimes you need a counselor to talk to you more yeah. so than the mentor, the consultant, or the coach because that person sometimes can get to you a little bit easier than everybody else, I feel. Yes, and in my position as a business consultant, um, I occasionally have to cross over and become a counselor mm -hmm. uh, and help the, the client through the personal issues that they're going through. It may not be a business issue at all. It could may, be a personal issue. Oh, absolutely. They could be uh, getting a divorce. or uh, uh, And now those will have implications for the business, mm -hmm. but they need some guidance. They, right. need, uh, they need some perspective sometimes. Am I being um, too hard on him uh, to ask him to be home, you know, at a, at a particular hour every night? It's like, well, he's an entrepreneur. He needs to go out and meet people. And, and so, you know, we intervene as counselors sometimes. Mm -hmm. it, it gets a little bit um, uh, sticky sometimes when well, you... you know, it's, it's, I think, getting that person or that other person involved a right. little bit. And maybe they don't like to go to networking events or they don't like to right. do something. But you, you almost have to get them to do one or two things. So they see what you go through. Right. in order to to promote that business or whatever right. it is and um, I'm just lucky I've taken I've dragged my husband to many of these things and he's not really but actually when he goes to some of this stuff he then sees what I have to do right. and he just doesn't like to be left alone right. does that make sense oh yeah so that part of it you know, with a counselor can be great because that person can look at it a little differently. Well, and for those who haven't had this experience or much of one, uh, at home, for example, you know, my wife and I are both involved in the same business and we have to come up with some rules, which, uh, you know, once we go home, we try not to uh, talk about much business. So that's an advantage, but occasionally we will. But because uh, you're working with each other, oh, seven, right? yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to need to take a break here in, in a second. But before we do, Catherine, could you tell us uh, how we might learn more about you and your business? Could you give us your website? Sure, I can give it to you. It's CatherineRaker.com, where you see all my brand. Yes. And uh, it's K A T H R Y N. Raker, R-A-A-K-E-R. -E and you can see my radio shows and all the things that we're involved in. Yes, and I think if you did a search on YouTube for your you, name, you'd find you'd everything. You'd find a bunch of And you'd videos. find the American Dream, too. American we have like 613 videos. Oh, wow. Uh, and I have maybe three. No, you have, <laughs> more. You have more than that, my dear. <laughs> uh, well, we'll be back in a minute. Uh, stick around. We're going to talk some more about uh, partnering. <laughs> 